Welcome to the Karma Speed YouTube channel. We're gonna do a cost breakdown. I have my spreadsheet on my iPad. And of what we spent on the Mazda Speed 3, the car and all the mods and everything else like that and what this car is valued at based off of MSRP of parts, no labor, anything else like that. You can install most of these things yourself, so I don't expect you to spend any money on top of mods. Um, these cars are relatively cheap, so this car got really, really expensive, but thanks to our partners, we were able to do it and make a really awesome giveaway car. Now, I need to update you on a few things, so I wanna put a timestamp on the screen of when I start talking about the prices, but I wanna tell you about Karma Speed and kinda of all the changes going on. So. The giveaways cause a lot of uh, focused energy and it's way more work than what one person can do. And the Cameron Alford channel is gonna kind of go back to kind of what I'm interested in certain projects and opportunities come my way as I kind of take steps into the automotive industry. And um, Randall and I will keep working on that as well as Karma Speed and we have SETI helping us film and we're just kind of putting a place together for our team to make it make money so that everyone can get paid and everyone can have a job around this and we can kind of build a company to add a lot of value to you guys, get cars in your hands for free and also take you on some experiences, some other things we have planned. I'm really, really excited to put a fresh twist on an automotive industry brand to support the lifestyle of you guys out there who like cars and want to live your life and the time you have here now for the you know this short time that life is you can do as much as you can um, with cars and automotive stuff and off-road and all these things that we're also into. I wanna build a company that supports that and outside of our friend group, outside of myself, and so we're kind of pushing Karma Speed that way. So we have a lot of people, we have a lot of videos that could be filmed and we need a place to put them and a place for you guys to find them. And that's what this Karma Speed YouTube channel is all about. If you like that idea, check out what we have going on right now depending on what time you watch this, whether it's today when it came out or a year from now, karmaspeed.com. Go check out what we're up to right now. Follow us on Instagram, we're just a bunch of guys in our 20s who love cars. Let's dive into the breakdown of the Mazda Speed 3. K-Sport Control Pro Coilovers, 850 bucks. White line sway bars and end links, $580 kit. Axles, spent about 200 bucks on. The vinyl wrap uh, from Fellers, it's called. If you search F-E-L-L-E-R-S.com, you have to create an account, you can call them. Um, you can order vinyl, it's around 700 bucks for a 2,500 yard roll. You have your AC blower motor, that was $33. That install was worth like $1,000. That was one of the worst installs ever. We have our JBR 3.5 inch full aluminum intake. That was $320. JBR short shifter, $145. JBR solid shifter bushings, $28. JBR rear motor mount, $130. JBR battery box and ECU relocation, $130. JBR rear camber arms, $200. ACT clutch, $1,100. Passenger motor mount, $99. Transmission motor mount, $42. Power stop brake kit from carparts.com, that was $409. We have our fender liners. Those were like $90 off of eBay, actually. Those are hard to find, the OEM ones. Uh, for the, the Mazda 3 is easy to find, but the Speed 3, I don't know if they're any different, but the belly pan was, and we couldn't find a belly pan for this car. Um, so we just did fender liners. And those are kind of pricey from the sky I bought them from. CPE Top Mount Intercooler, $454. Uh, Autotech High Pressure Fuel Pump Internals, $350. OEM Fender Brackets, $40. NGK Spark Plugs, $34. Cobb Access Port, $650. Cobb Shift Knob, $70. Cobb Turbo Back, $1,380. Cobb Bypass Valve, $325. Cobb Boost Controller, $150. Cobb floor mats $210, Cobb windshield cover $80, Corbo RRB black vinyl pair of seats $899, Corbo seat brackets $258, Boss Apple CarPlay head unit we got on Amazon, it's on sale right now for $165, I paid way more than that in person but I put the Amazon price. The wire harness for that I bought across the street, that was 20 bucks for a Mazda 3, it's the same as a Speed 3. The dash kit to fit that, $12 metric kit. Flush USB adapter. That one we put by the cup holder, $11. Driver window regulator, $76. Kanzai Corsa wheels, $1,340. The Falcon tires were around $880 with the TPMS sensors. Alignment, I paid $185 and they only did the front and really only had, only had to mess with the toe. I got the camera just right. Luckily at the house, I don't think that would have changed the price, but alignment shops don't like modified vehicles when the camber is on the top hat and you have to like remove it. So I got it like perfect, took it to him and all he had to do was adjust the toe. Tint the front windows and the hatch, that was $150. So the total parts value MSRP 
$12,857. Add that to the $4,500 car. We have a total value of the vehicle, MSRP plus what I bought the car for off of Facebook Marketplace in Phoenix, Arizona, $17,357. If you guys have any ideas of what you want to see on this channel, I would love to dive into it and be all ears of what we can do to service the automotive industry from a content perspective and maybe a giveaway perspective and maybe things you guys want to experience being car guys and maybe we can help support that. That's what Karma Street is all about. Thanks so much for your time. If you guys want to check out a video, oh wait, I usually put a video here, but this is kind of the first main video. So when we upload a second video, I'll put a video here. So whatever that is, just click it because you're back to a, the first real episode on the Karma Speed YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it if you click that.